here we have the coffee house. The coffee house is approximately 200 years old. This one anyway, this one's nearly 200 years old. Possibly more than that now actually. Some lovely... I think the lamps are original. The architrave in there is. It's a very stylized pub. Uh, there's a sign there. What does that say? Probably Wavy Trees Surviving Public House. The original coffee house stood on the site of the Wavy Tree Chapel. Uh, so that's a little bit of a snippet of information. It is Lake George in this one. As I say, it's nearly 200 years old. Uh, possibly more. And this was this site is on maps, um, dated 1771 something. But back in the day, they would meet up here from the city. They would have excursions out from the city to here because all that was Greenland. Not Greenland, the country, obviously, but open parkland. Um, and they would sit out here, have a drink, meet up. Uh, there's also the famous uh, Liverpool hunt went on here. Uh, they met up here. The parkland in front used as the, uh, the sports field for the White Star Line, which, as if you know anything about the White Star Line, it's uh, the Titanic's owners. So we have connections in this little area to uh, the Titanic, to the Beatles. They went to that cinema, which, you know, they probably met up in here and had a drink in here because George Harrison lives behind this house about 500 yards away, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. But I'll put some pictures in of the map and I'll mark it on the map, yeah, an old map of where it was. <laughs> so yeah, you might recognize the styling. It's architecture, it's architect, sorry, it's architect also designed the Philharmonic pub in Liverpool and also designed the vines. So you will see some similarities. Both of those are very famous pubs in the Liverpool City Centre. But this is one just outside. This is the coffee house.